Hey, Rick from Dreamside Out again. Uh, haven't made a video in a while, so I guess it's about time. Well, to be honest with you, I've hit kind of a rut when it comes to making videos. I really ran out of things to say. <laughs> I, uh, I, I have a lot of fragmented subjects that I could talk about. I know there have been lots of, uh, well, there's been some questions. I could address those, but I've got lots of repetitious questions about the, the very same uh, subject over and over again. Um, mostly about the back door locking mechanism. <laughs> That's one of the main questions I get over and over again. Uh, one of the things I've been contemplating a lot, and I've been contemplating this for years, is the subject of contentment. Uh, some people use the term happiness. <clears throat> I prefer the, the term contentment. Uh, the reason for that is it, it seems to me that happiness is kind of a fleeting thing. There's, there are moments or short periods of time when you're happy. <clears throat> you know, like uh, some great thing happens. Uh, you have some level of, of success at something. You fall in love. You know, there's that period of time where you're just stupidly happy. <laughs> um, but... Contentment's a different thing. There's a paradoxical aspect to it. Um, if you're content, it sort of implies that you're satisfied with everything around you, just the way it is. And therefore, you kind of, it seems like you would become just a, you know, You'd never progress. You'd just stay in one spot. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't move on. It seems like a little bit of restlessness or discontentment is what makes you change. But then there's a certain peace and contentment in being that way too. And, and if I'm not always trying to improve something, well, then I'm discontent. Think about it. I mean, I can't be completely content sitting still. You just look one step at a time ahead, and then every now and then you look back and you say, holy crap, look how far I've come. I can have periods of time when I relax. I think it was discontentment that brought me back to to YouTube here to make another video. I don't feel content unless I'm creating something. But yet, um, there's a there's a discontentment in the creating of things because I never feel like I can make the perfect picture or the perfect YouTube video or the perfect, and you, you, you're always striving for something that's just a little out of reach. So there's discontentment, but there's contentment in the striving. It's just a strange little paradox, isn't it? What is it we want anyway? There's this, uh, you know, it was it was it was discontentment with my lifestyle before, which led me to live in a van. 
If a day goes by, for instance, and I haven't done any artwork, I don't feel right. Now, maybe that's some sort of uh, obsession or something. <clears throat> but I, I, this goes back to as long as I can remember, ever since I was a kid, I knew I had to do, I had to create art. I had to uh, make pictures. <clears throat> I recently got to uh, uh, teach uh, some grade school kids um, how to draw um, I, how to draw Sasquatches. Okay, I indoctrinated a whole a little generation of new Sasquatch artists, uh, and I could see myself in some of those kids because some of them these are first graders, and there was a there was a little girl that said point blank, "I'm going to be an artist." And she said it with conviction. She knew that's what she was, even at that age. And I remember being that way too. So there's a, there's a sort of a contentment in knowing who and what you are, but if you don't do that particular thing, you go for a period of time and, and you're not doing it, then there's discontentment. Well, I'll close with uh, some words from Socrates. He said, he who is not content with what he has will never be content with what he wants to have. Something to ponder, huh? Have a good one.